While you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. I'm sorry, I got to get a script. Bro. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Let me get Mark uh, chapter 7. I believe it's verse 5. Mark chapter 7 and verse 5. What did Christ say about man's tradition? This is low-key off topic, but <laughs> I want to get it. I'm sorry. Mark chapter 7 and verse 5. Then the Pharisees and scribes asked him, Why walk not thy disciples according to the tradition of the elders, uh -huh. but eat bread with unwashing hands? Uh -huh. And he answered and said unto them, Well hath Esaias prophesied of you hypocrites, as it is written, This people honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Come on. How be it in vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. So when you don't keep the Sabbath day, and obviously we're talking about those that oppose Sunday. Some of y'all, you know, we're talking about those amongst Israel. Y'all know Sunday is not the day of the Lord, right? But you're rolling in that same spirit. Well, watch this. Read on. Verse 7. How be it in vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. Come on. For laying aside the commandment of God. You lay aside the Sabbath day. Come on. Ye hold the tradition of men. Come on. As the washing of pots and cups and many other such like things ye do. So you lay aside the commandment of God, the Lord's Sabbath day, which is supposed to be held from Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. But yet you try to deem it as uh, the same biblical authority or sovereign authority with Sunday that you made for yourself. And if that's the case, let's just say they, they wanted to you know, equally serve God and, you know, their own tradition. How come it's not equally served of Sunday and Saturday amongst the Christian church? How come that's not the case? Because the, 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 I'll tell you what it is. You don't care about God and you don't care about his commandments. All you care about is yourself. All you care about is how you feel and how your body feels and whatever you want to do and whatever you feel like doing. That's what it is. That's it. Uh, pull up page 92 in that book. That highlight that part. The week of seven days has been in use ever since the days of Moses. And we have no reason for supposing that any irre, 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 irregularities, irre, irregularities, irre, irre, irregularities have existed in the succession of the weeks in their days from that time to the present. Uh -huh. Time can be traced to the very second by the positions of the stars. The letter informed me that from the positions of the stars, next page. Bring it close. Raise it up, raise it up. I got to finish the uh, sentence. Every moment of time has been kept track of since before 500 BC. If man refused to observe weeks and the line of time was forgotten, the day of the week could be recovered by observing when the transits of the planets or eclipses of the sun and moon occurred. These great centennials of the sky keep seven days with scientific accuracy. Thundering out the seven days. Bring that closer. Bring that closer for me. Say it right there. That's good. Thundering out the seven days inscribed on the inspired page. So we see here, they letting it be known that the sun, moon, stars, those things can't be changed. Now, I ain't no, uh, uh, what they call them, astronomers or something like that. Hey, I don't, I, hey, that's foreign language to me. But what they, what basically what he's saying is, if, if, if you are good with that, you know what I'm saying, you're good with that, you could trace the days of the week. Based off the sun, moon, and the stars. And then it lets you know that the seventh day is Saturday. That's basically what he's saying. So it ain't no. So I think that's it with that book. Uh, pull up the definition of Sunday. So what we got to understand, we, 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 all this, all those things was done to take away, to take the Sabbath away from us. Now we in this truth. And why would you? Go back to those ways. Go back to that 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 life of not upholding God's laws when they did so much to take it away from us because they know that it was a sign 
between us and the Most High God. Read that on Sunday. Sunday, definition. The Christian Sabbath. The Christian Sabbath, which is not the Sabbath. Read. The first day of the week, a day consecrated to rest from secular employments and to religious worship. It is called also the Lord's Day. And we just read in Mark 2 and 27 that that is not the Lord's Day. The Sabbath is the Lord's Day. Read. Many pious persons, however, discard the use of Sunday and call the day the Sabbath. So they, they it says pious persons, I mean an uh, arrogant person. They call Sunday the Sabbath, but then they don't even keep they don't even keep that right. Pull up the definition of Sabbath. Sabbath definition, the day which God appointed to be observed by the Jews as a day of rest from all secular labor or employments and to be kept holy and consecrated to his service and worship. This was originally the seventh day of the week. And it still is the seventh day of the week. Read the day on which God rested from the work of creation. And this day is still observed by the Jews and some Christians as the Sabbath. But the Christian church very early began, begun and still continue to observe the first day of the week in commemoration of the resurrection of Christ on that day by which the work of redemption was completed. So I think that's it. But the Sabbath day, as we see, the Sabbath day is the seventh day. Sunday is the first day. There's no scriptures saying that we that we supposed to keep keep the Sabbath on the first day of the week. So what we got to understand, and the reason I bring that out is because all this stuff was done to change the Sabbath day to to hide it from us. And now you come into the truth and learn the Sabbath day, and then you go back to sitting at home. You want to watch online. You want to do this. No, you got to keep the Sabbath because the, the scriptures. We see all throughout the New Testament, we see Christ keeping the Sabbath. We see Paul, we see the apostles keeping the Sabbath. Go to Luke chapter 4 and verse 16. We're supposed to walk as, as Jesus walked. Luke chapter 4 and verse 16. And he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up. And as the custom was. As he, his custom was. So Christ had a custom of keeping the Sabbath. Read. He went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. He went into the synagogue. That's us coming to congregate one amongst the other. Read. And stood up for it to read. So his custom was to go in the synagogue on the Sabbath. Go to Acts chapter 13 and verse, uh, start at verse 14, 14 through 16. Acts chapter 13 and verse 14. But when they departed from Perga, they came to Antioch and Pisidia and went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and sat down. Uh huh. And after the reading of the law and the prophets, the rulers of the synagogue sent unto them, saying, Ye men and brethren, if ye have any word of exhortation for the people, say on. Then Paul stood up and beckoning with his hand said, Men of Israel. And ye that fear God, give audience. So we see, we see Paul teaching who? It says men of Israel, teaching Israel on the Sabbath in the synagogue. They went into the synagogue on the Saturday, on the Sabbath day. Jump to verse 42. Verse 42. And when the Jews were gone out of the synagogue, the Gentiles besought that these words might be preached to them the next day. Sabbath on when the next Sabbath. So for them to say they wanted they 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 at request they made request that these same words be taught to them on the next Sabbath. They let you know that they were keeping the Sabbath. They let you know that every seven days they were keeping the Sabbath. Otherwise, why would they say the next Sabbath? Why would they say, "Hey, can you teach this again next Sabbath?" Because it was a custom. It's the custom that we kept. Jump to forty-four, verse forty-four. And the next Sabbath day came almost the whole city together to hear the word of God. And the next Sabbath day, they, 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 they came to hear the word of God. That's what we're supposed to be doing. 
we're supposed to continue in the custom of keeping the Sabbath day holy, coming one amongst another, congregating together. Go to Acts chapter 15, is that 15 and 21? Acts chapter 15 and verse 21. For Moses of old time have in every city them that preach him being read in the synagogues every Sabbath day. Every Sabbath day, not Sunday, not the first day of the week. Every Sabbath day they were in the scriptures. And that's why you're supposed to come to the school. You're supposed to come to the congregation. Whatever city you in, you're supposed to get, make your way to the congregation. You mind if I get a scripture off? Go ahead. Give me Romans 8 and 35. Because what's happening, it go back to uh, what the officers were saying. It's a lot of people who've been around for some time. And what's happened now is you got to go back to when you was in the world, right? When you was in the world, nothing stopped you from doing whatever wickedness it was. You found a way. If your car broke down, you got on public transportation, train, bus. If you had to get on the metro, if you in Illinois, you got on the metro to get to where you had to go. But now when it comes to keeping God's commandments, we make excuses. So what happened to that spirit? Give me Romans 8, 35. The book of Romans, chapter 8 and verse 35. This is the spirit we're supposed to have when it comes to this truth. Read. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Those of you who fit this class that the officer is going over, that's the question to you. Paul was asking this question to the Romans. So now put yourself in the position of the Jews in Rome. He's, he's posing this question to you. Read it again. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Read on. Shall tribulation? Oh, I got stuff going on. I'm going through things. Read. Or distress? Uh-huh. Or persecution? Distress. Pers I'm stressed out. Persecution. Things is happening to me. I'm losing my job. Or famine? Or famine. Lack or of food. I'm poor. I can't get food. Read. Or nakedness? Or hey, peril? Hold on. When it say famine, we going to go through famine. So you got to think, a lot of these things Paul is naming, a lot of us, not a lot of us, we haven't, us as a whole haven't even went through half these things, and people are making excuses not to come to the Sabbath. We haven't even went through half of these things yet, but we already making excuses. So what's going to happen when the, the real persecution comes? A little sniffle, a little, little snotty nose in the morning, you ain't even hacking nothing up. You blow your nose, you good. We find it any excuse to miss the Sabbath. That's a commandment. You can die for not keeping the Sabbath. Read on. Or nakedness. Uh-huh. Or pearl. Uh-huh. Or sore. Ain't none of us going through no peril or no sore right now. None of us. But we find in all of these excuses not to keep God's commandments. Read on. As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep. For the slaughter. Uh-huh. Read on. Nay, and all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Uh-huh. For I am persuaded. Read that, that again. For I am persuaded. Now, Paul talking. You got to be persuaded. What? Read. That neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come. We ain't even went through half of this yet. So let's, 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 uh, what's the word? Let's switch that out with, uh, is COVID-19 going around? Something wrong with my car, my Lord traveling. Let's, let's substitute that. That's the word. Let's substitute that with that. Read. Nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God. Which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. You shouldn't be letting none stop you from getting to the Sabbath. Unless it's something detrimental. Unless, like the officer said, you're disabled, you got an injury, you are, you're actually sick. You shouldn't be letting none stop you from keeping the commandments. But we do all the time. We find an excuse not to keep God's laws. That's it, officer. Yeah, and then just to add to what you're saying, a lot of times, like, just for those people, you may, you may, let's say, you live two, three hours away, and you ain't got no vehicle, your, your car, your vehicle, you ain't got no vehicle, and you ain't got nobody around that live around you to be able to get to the school. You should, you should have the thought of, you know what, I'm going to make it up there once a month on a consistent basis. You know what, I'm going to save my money so I can take the officer mentioned. I know we in Illinois, 
You got the metro. You got various uh, means of transportation. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna put I'm gonna put hey I'm gonna put twenty dollars. However much the bus costs, I'm gonna put twenty dollars a week oh, to the side. So you know what? On the every third every third Sabbath, I'm gonna get down to the school. I'm gonna get up to the school, and that that's what I'm gonna commit to until I can get my car fixed. That's the that's the that's the thing. We have to make excuses to keep the Sabbath, not excuses not to keep it. We gotta make we gotta make um, arrangements. That's what and that's that's what us as is Israel we 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 quick to make excuses of why we can't do something, but we a lot of times we never find a solution of how to make something happen. We we always quick ah oh, that's the easy the easy we 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 quick to take the easy route out. The easy route is, oh, my car broke down. I live two, three hours away. There's no way for me to get to the, to the Sabbath. No, the most high made many ways for us to get, get around. He, he, that's why you got buses, trains, and all of these various things. So we, we got to we gotta, we gotta make, the, make it happen. We got to make it happen. That's, that's pretty much what the scripture was saying. Uh, he read Romans 8 and 35. It says, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? So tribulation or distress, persecution, famine, nakedness, peril or sword. That's basically what they're saying. You got to make a way to keep the commandments. That's in a nutshell. You have to make a way to keep the commandments. Go to Acts chapter 17 and verse 4. I mean 1. Acts chapter 17 and verse 1. Acts chapter 17 and verse 1. Now when they had passed through Aphelias and Apollonia, they came to Thessalonica. Where was a synagogue of the Jews. Uh-huh. And Paul, as his manner was. As his what? As his manner was. As his custom was. As his uh, habit was. Read. Went unto them in three Sabbath days, reasoned with them out of the scripture. Three Sabbath days. Letting you know that Paul was keeping the Sabbath day. There's no doubt about it. We got to walk in those same footsteps. Like he said in, uh, I think it's what, 1 Corinthians 11? He said, follow me as I follow Christ. We got to follow in the footsteps of our forefathers. Follow in the footsteps of the apostles. Read. Verse 3. Opening and aligning that. Alleging. Alleging that Christ must needs have suffered and rising again from the dead. And that this Jesus, whom I preach unto you, is Christ. You can't do this watching online at home. Bring it out. And it's like I said, this ain't no hit to those that ain't got no other choice but to watch online. This is to those that's able-bodied and actually can come to the Sabbath. You can't do this. You can't. You can't open. You can't go to the. You can't go through the scriptures with your brother. You can't go. You can't. You can't do this watching online. Read verse four. And some of them believe. And consorted with Paul and Silas, and of the devout Greeks, a great multitude, and of the chief women, not a few. So, we see Paul kept the Sabbath. Paul kept the Sabbath. Go to jump to 18 and 4. Acts chapter 18 and verse 4. And he reasoned in the synagogue every Sabbath. He reasoned in the synagogue every Sabbath. Every Sabbath he was in the synagogue. And when you read through it. Paul was a journey, he was journeying. And today, and they was walking. They didn't have cars and they was walk, they was walking. They had donkeys. They was walking. But today, oh, you know what? My car, man, I ain't got we we find the easiest excuse to we find whatever excuse come to our mind, we make it. But here we read not reading the apostles walking, reasoning in the synagogue from city to city. Read. Did you finish that verse? Nope. And persuaded the Jews and the Greeks. And persuaded the Jews. We see our forefathers, they kept the Lord's Sabbath days. Go to Sirach chapter 15. Fifteen eleven. Sirach chapter 15 and verse 11. Say not thou... It is through the Lord that I have fell away. For thou oughtest not to do the things that he hated. You shouldn't be willingly not keeping the Sabbath. Say not thou, it is through the Lord that I fell away. Hey, the Lord, hey, it's the, the, the prophecies coming to pass. The pandemic is here. That's pro he's prophesied in Revelation. So, hey, I, I can't come. 
hey, we in captivity, man. I've been working like a I've been working like a Hebrew slave at work. I'm tired. I gotta get some rest. It's the, it's the day of rest. <laughs> no, don't blame the Most High for your lust that you decide to not keep the Sabbath. Read. Say not thou, he have caused me to err, for he have no need of the sinful man. Amen. It's the curses, man. I'm tired. It's the curses. It's uh the pandemic. It's captivity. Things, man. It's t- it's hard. Like the officer brought out before we came into this truth. Whether you was in Christianity, you was in the streets, you was going to clubs, whatever you did, whatever it took to make, if you wanted to do it, you did whatever it took. That's the, you found a way to make it happen. And how you found a way to make those things happen, we ain't even going to go down that road because we're talking about the Sabbath. But you made, you, you hey, hey, I, I got to get here. I got to get, hey, we in Chicago. A lot, of, a lot of Chicagoans, what they was doing, they was going to Minnesota, Milwaukee, uh, Iowa. We were going on, and then you were like, "Bro, where you get all this money from? How you how you traveling, bro? You ain't got no car." Hey, officer. I remember when I was younger, I rode a bike four hours from the city to the suburbs to do some wickedness. Yep, that's, that's the that's the stuff that we used to do. So now you in the truth, and this whatever excuse, excuse come in your mind, we quick to use it. We can't do that. We got to keep the commandments. The scripture and what in Baruch. It say, uh, uh, get that in Baruch, where it says, seek him 10 times the more. We got to make sure that we are upholding this because, like I said, like we, when we was in the, I know, I know I can speak for me. When I was in Christianity, whatever they had going on, I made my way there. I was, I, I think, when I was, the one church I was going to, it was like an hour and a half away from my house. And I would have no gas, but I made sure I got there. I didn't know how I was going to make it through the rest of the week, but I made sure I was there, and I always made it through the rest of the week. That's the same mindset we got to have, and more now that we're in the truth and we're following the right way. Read that. Baruch chapter 4, verse 28. For as, it was, for as it was your mind to go astray from God. So as it was your mind to go to that club, to do whatever was necessary to get to that club, to do whatever was necessary to get to that Christian church, to do whatever was necessary to go... Pick up that 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 sister out in the suburb somewhere or in the city. Meet up with it. Whatever it, what and those things, the same energy that you use to do those wicked things. Read. So being returned, seek him ten times more. So now that you are returned to the Most High, seek him ten times more. I know how we just I just named a whole lot of other stuff. We talking about the Sabbath, but us all in the same. All of that the 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 the, uh, that 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 strong energy that you use to get to those things, use that same energy to get to the Sabbath. Because it, you made, we we made moves without a vehicle. We made moves without a vehicle. We was everywhere without a vehicle. Now that you're in the truth, don't make the excuse that oh I ain't got no way to get there. No, come on, man. You 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 you're not trying. You're not trying. Uh, go back to Sirach 11. I mean, uh, 15, go to 20. Sirach chapter 15 and verse 20. Sirach chapter 15 and verse 20. He have commanded no man to do wickedly, neither have he given any man license to sin. The Most High and gave not one of us a license to not keep the, not keep the Sabbath day holy. You, if you're not keeping the Sabbath, you willingly breaking the, the Sabbath, you are doing wickedly, and the Most High commanded no man to do wickedly. He have given no man license to sin. He have given no man freedom to sin. Ah, oh, no, you under grace. You ain't got to keep the Sabbath. No, that's not what the Most High gave us. He gave us his laws, and we got to keep them. Go to uh, Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 23. Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 23. Got a few more scriptures. Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 23. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering. Don't allow the pandemic to cause you to waver. Don't allow your job to cause you to waver. Don't allow no man to cause you to waver. Stand fast. Hold fast the profession of your faith. Read. For he is faithful that promised. Uh Uh-huh. 
and let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works. It says, let us consider one another to provoke unto love and good works. You don't know that. You don't, like, they, they, they I know we, it's, there was always, um, I was always told coming up, hey, it's always somebody watching you. It's always somebody looking at you. Some people are looking at you to see you fall, and some people are actually looking at you and admiring you. It's looking at you and following in your footsteps. You're an example to somebody. So it says, consider, let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works. You don't know. You might be, you might be that brother that light up another brother day, light up another sister, the, the sister that light up another sister day when they see you. They looking forward to seeing you at the Sabbath, but you being selfish, I ain't keeping the Sabbath. You going against it. You're not considering your brother. It says, uh, let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works. When we come together, that's what we're doing. We're provoking each other to love, to continue in this faith, continue in the walk, continue in keeping the commandments. But if you're not coming around, who's, who's there to hold you accountable? Your mirror? Of course, we're supposed to, of course, now, of course, we're supposed to examine ourselves. I ain't saying you any. Of course, we're supposed to examine ourselves. But there's certain things that, being around brothers and sisters that you're gonna you gonna do you 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 that interaction you may see that you're doing something out of line but by yourself you ain't gonna see what you're doing wrong you can examine yourself personally but if you ain't interacting with nobody you don't know you 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 missing you missing a component of um you missing a component of building up your spirit you're missing a component of seeing what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong you're missing that interaction. You might be a, a, a mean-spirited brother. But if you ain't never around nobody, and you're mad, you good. Because you ain't, you, ain't, you, ain't, uh, you ain't offended nobody with your mean spirit to, to help you to be able so you can, re, so you can recognize that, dang, I, dang, I said that. I ain't, I ain't mean it like that, but dang, I, now I see. But if you always by yourself, if you never come around and you are only, only people you're around, all right, your 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 uh your employer, your what you call it, coworkers. You only around your coworker. They in the world. You ain't gonna. They gonna. They they arguing with you. They ain't gonna tell you you wrong. But when you come around your brothers, you you mean spirited or you uh, standoffish. That stuff gonna come out. They gonna they gonna you gonna you gonna be let known about your spirit. That's that's that provoking unto love and to good works. Read. Verse 25, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another as so, as so much the more as ye see the day approaching. So don't forsake the assembly of ourselves together as the manner of some is. There's many doing that today. Read. Verse 26, for if we sin willfully, you decide to not keep the Sabbath for whatever selfish reason you come up with, you're sinning willfully. And if you sin sinning willfully, you're not going to get the kingdom of God. Read. For if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sins. But you, a fear you, you, you're, you're here, like we read in uh, Ezekiel. You decide you want to fall away and not keep the Sabbath. There's no more sacrifice for your sins. Christ is of no effect to you. His death on the cross is of no effect to you. You might as well just go back to the club and turn up. Read. Verse 27. But a certain fearful looking for of judgment and fiery indignation which shall devour the adversary. Meaning you're going to be judged for you uh, profaning the Lord's Sabbath. Read. Verse 28. He that despised Moses' law Die without mercy under two or three witnesses. Uh huh. Of how much sore punishment suppose ye shall be shall be thought worthy, or have trodden underfoot the Son of God, and have counted the blood of the covenant wherewith he was sanctified an unholy thing, and he have done despite unto the Spirit of grace. So if you decide that you're not gonna keep the Sabbath for whatever invalid excuse you have. You gonna you gonna get a, a worse punishment than those that died under Moses. Because under Moses, they died without mercy. That was a physical death. They were stoned with stones. 
But you trodden underfoot the Son of God, that's eternal death. That's your 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 uh, your your soul and body being destroyed. Go to Numbers just to just to see what happened. Well, no, you know what, for time's sake, now we're going to read Numbers 15 and 32 on your time. But that's what happened under, under Moses' law, dealing with the Sabbath. When you read Numbers chapter 15, verse 32, and 30, 32 through 36, you see a man that was put to death because he was picking up sticks on the Sabbath day. We don't know why he was picking up the sticks, but we know that at the council they put him in ward, and the Most High said, stone him, put him to death. The Most High don't, the Most, that, that, the, the scriptures talk about the Most High being the same yesterday, today. Well, no, that's that's a reference to Christ. But it say that he changes not. That same judgment is applicable today. That's why you that's why you see them the, when you read Deuteronomy 32 and 39, where it talk about he kill and he make alive. A lot of these murders, a lot of these things that's going on, it's the most high doing it. He's still judging, he's still judging his people. We just don't know it. We've been dumbed down and we don't understand that. So you profaning the Sabbath, the most high could very well judge you for that. You don't know when your mercy is up. Um, go to Sirach 4 and 28. Sabbath day is a very, it's a, it's, 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 it's a very important commandment that we must keep. Sirach chapter 4 verse 28. Strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. Strive for the truth unto death. No matter what's going on in this world, we got to strive to keep the We got to strive to keep the Sabbath day. What you going to do when, when the stuff really get turned up? You're going to be so desensitized to keeping the Sabbath that you ain't going to have nobody. You ain't, you ain't going to have nowhere to go. You think that when that time comes, you're going to all of a sudden be like, well, I'm going to go to the school on the set. No, you're not. You're not going to fight for it. The scriptures say strive for the strive. Read it again. Strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. When we strive to keep God's commandments. We're talking about the Sabbath here. When we strive to keep the commandments, we strive to keep the Sabbath, the Most High is going to fight for us. So we got to make sure we go above and beyond to keep the Sabbath day holy. And that the, one of those things, one of the more, one of the important things, is coming together and congregating, because we we need each other. That's why the scriptures say. That's why Christ, when when he was asked by the, um, let me paraphrase. Go to Matthew twenty uh, twenty two and thirty six. That is, this will this will be this the last scripture. Because we got to understand. That's why over and over Christ said, "Love your neighbor." He said, love your neighbor as you love yourself. Um, they, they, this, that by these, by, by this way, they know they, that you are my disciples, that you love one another. <clears throat> That's not 22? That's, 32. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. I was just talking, I was talking, um, to, you, talking to you. Matthew chapter <laughs> 22, verse 36. Master, which is the great commandment in the law? So this is why Christ, this is one of the reasons why Christ said that. Verse 37. Uh, said, what is the great commandment in the law? Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. Uh-huh. So the first, the first he said, I said this in reference to us loving God with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength, upholding the commandments pertaining to us, showing that we love the most high. Read. This is the first and great commandment. Refer, and, and that's that's going in, into the uh, the first through the fourth commandment. Read. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. The second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. These are the... the uh, these are the driving force of one of the driving forces of us keeping the commandments. For one, we love the Lord our God with all our heart, soul, and with all our mind because he told us to keep the commandments. We're going to keep the commandments. And then the second 
is that we love our neighbor as we love ourselves. We come around the brothers, we come around the sisters. That's you showing love to your. That's showing you. That's you showing love because you're showing an example. One, you're showing an example that the the, the Sabbath day is you showing an example by keeping the Sabbath day holy. Then two, you coming around your brothers. You 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 being refreshed so that you can go through that next week, that next week. But that's what we must. We must. We gotta uphold the Sabbath day. We gotta keep it holy. That's the last script we want. Yeah. Yeah. Let me go. Yeah, Hebrews chapter back to Hebrews chapter ten and verse thirty-eight. Hebrews chapter ten and verse thirty-eight. So I pray that everybody is taking heed of what was coming out. Don't play with the Lord's Sabbath. Remember, this is the very first high holy day that the Lord sanctified during the beginning, during the creation of the world. All right, read that. Hebrews chapter ten and verse thirty-eight. Come on. Now the just shall live by faith. We are the just, all right? We are the believers of Christ, that God, that Christ died for our sins, all right, to redeem us back to the Lord our Father. All right, come on. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. We're not going to have no pleasure in you, and the Lord won't have no pleasure in you. Don't be that soul that draweth back into the things that they were doing back in the world and making excuses for their sins, all right? Come on. Verse 39. But we are not of them who draw back unto perdition. We're not supposed to be of them that draw back unto destruction. Come on. But of them that believe to the saving of the soul. Or of them that keep the Lord's Sabbath. Now, obviously, the belief is going to much more than just the Sabbath, but we're talking about the Sabbath. Unto them that, uh, it says, but of them that believe or that keep his Sabbath to the saving of the soul. All of us here come and we worship the Lord and we hallow his Sabbaths and we reverence his sanctuary because we believe and we want our souls delivered. All right, so let's remember our first works and let's keep the Lord's Sabbath day holy as it is commanded. All right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth